Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be unboxing TP-Link Wi-Fi range extender, which supports Wi-Fi 6 technology. The price of this device is 399.80, which is like 110 US dollars in UAE. A big shout out to TP-Link for sending me this review unit. But as always, I'll be giving my honest opinion with this device. So let's start the unboxing, but before I start, kindly subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you'll get notified every time I post a new video. First of all, let me begin with why do we need a range extender? Basically, we all use routers for home and office for Wi-Fi connection. But suppose if you are living in a one bedroom apartment or two bedroom apartment, the area which is near the router will get a better signal and speed. And you don't get the same speed in other areas or different rooms. In general, range extenders solve these problems and by using them, you can connect them to your main router and get blazing fast speed anywhere in your house or office. Now there are a lot of range extenders in the market, so what makes this one special? Well, there are a few good reasons. Number one, it works with any Wi-Fi router. Number two, it supports Wi-Fi 6, which makes it more futuristic, as is the latest and the fastest Wi-Fi connection at the moment. Number three, it can be easily set up in a couple of minutes. You can even set it up with a smartphone with an application. In addition, you can give wired connection to any device which does not support Wi-Fi, for example, PC or gaming console or even a TV. In fact, you can also use your phone's data bundle with this and use it as a hotspot. When you look at the box, it basically explains almost everything with a lot of important information written on the box itself. Inside you have the user manual and the Wi-Fi extender itself. And that's about it. In terms of size, it's not a small size extender. The horns go all the way up. You can plug it in like any other 3-pin device. There are 4 LED indicators. Power, Wi-Fi, 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz connection. There is a reset button next to the lock button on one side and Ethernet cable port on the other. From here you can give wired connection to PC, TV or gaming console if it doesn't have Wi-Fi connection. Of course with the Ethernet cable. But the most important thing is that you need to connect it to your main network first which I will show you now. First thing is to plug in the extender and wait for the power LED indicator to turn a solid blue color. Once it's done, you have three ways to connect to your home or your office Wi-Fi as long as you know the password for it. The three ways are one through a smartphone application, second using a web browser and third by using router itself by pressing the WPS button. For this video, I will show you the smartphone method and it's also the simplest method. You can download the application called Tether from App Store or Play Store for free First go to the Wi-Fi settings on your phone and connect it to the Link Extenders Wi-Fi. Then launch the application and go to My Devices. Tap on Add Range Extender, making sure the power LED is solid blue. Once it's done, set up a password for it. You can put a simple one, for example 1234, as eventually your Wi-Fi password will be the main at the end to connect to the internet. Next, it will ask you to select your Wi-Fi, your host network, enter your main Wi-Fi password. You will need to enter in both 2.4 GHz and also 5 GHz if your router supports 5 GHz connection. Finally, it will show the extender network name. It will be your main Wi-Fi name with an additional EXC in the end. The password will remain the same as your original Wi-Fi password. In a maximum of 2 minutes time, you will be connected. When you plug it too far from the router, the Wi-Fi indicator will turn red. Keep in mind it should be in a strong blue color which means the best signals. You can use your smartphone application to determine the best spot by clicking on local assistant and then click on check signal. You can check different spots around your home or office to understand the best option and accordingly you can place it. You can also share the Wi-Fi to your friends or family when they come to your house by a QR code. You can also save the image to your gallery and share it to your friends and colleagues. The only downside is that if you want to reset the router, you can't do it from the application itself. You have to press the reset button on the side of the device for one or two seconds while the extender is on and that will wipe out all the settings and you can do a fresh setup. So that's it guys for this video. I feel this is quite a handy device to use your Wi-Fi network with better coverage anywhere in your home and office. Now where to buy it and for the latest price, kindly check in the description below. All the details are given. Hit the thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe if you haven't. If you like giveaways, soon I'll be announcing a giveaway of Realme 7i. Also don't miss to check out the unboxing of it in my next video. So see you soon in my next video. Till then, goodbye.
Peace and blessings. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the video, kindly hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will really appreciate that. Also click on the notification icon, the bell icon, so you'll constantly get updated with my new videos. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Till then, goodbye.